Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whoever you are, wherever you are, whenever it is for you. For me, it's Sunday, the 3rd of September, 2023, day 557 of Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. And on the subject of Sakha independence, I would like to introduce you to the Yukati shaman and Putin political dissident, Alexander Gabashev, who is currently being held, of course, in a psychiatric institution where in classic Soviet style, we cannot even imagine the horrors that he is being subjected to as they try to break the will of this man who is dedicated to the independence and freedom of the Sakha region of Russia from imperialist Moscovites. Let's take a look. These are the kind of quotes we get out of Alexander. I love this guy. The God told me to exercise the demon out of Putin. Only a real shaman can cope with the devil. Now there's some insight from somebody that's on the ground living under the terrorist regime that is Moscow. But this guy is not some loon out in the woods on his own. Not at all, my friends. He's a democratic political activist who says things like, decisions and claims of the public gathering have the legal power and must be implemented. We could translate that maybe into American parlance as power to the people. Very much, this is the agenda that this person has and this is what makes him a political prisoner. He's not crazy. He's fighting for the people of Sakha, a people who have been fighting for their independence from the Moscow regime since 1631. Look, the Russian Federation has no future. It is, Putin is tearing it apart at the seams. It is doomed to failure. And we don't have to do anything. The forces inside the country will tear itself apart. There is no doubt in my mind. It's over. Russia is over. 400 years of Russian oppression is enough. And the people inside of that colonial power know it and they are going to seize their chance in the near future in the next three four five ten years whatever it takes these people are going to be independent there will be a free state of Sakha. what are we going to do about it are we going to try to prop up this corrupt and evil regime the way that we did the ussr no i say no we need to prepare for the disillusion of this corrupt and evil empire, to quote our, my buddy Ronnie Reagan, um, because it's inevitable. It's inevitable. These power systems always fail. And the power vacuum that will be left when there is no more Putin will be the chance for these folks. We need to be in there on the ground now, supporting the people that are fighting for their own independence in the face of brutality from Moscow and repression from Moscow. Even today, even knowing that he's putting his life on the line, his freedom has been surrendered. Knowing all of that, he stood up. These are the people we need to support. When the chips fall, and they're going to fall, we got to be positioned to prevent the Chinese from exerting their influence all the way to Siberia. If we don't, the Chinese will install puppet governments in Sakha, in Kamchatka, in Irkutsk, and in other places like that. There could be a new independent federation of states in this part of the world in the next 10 years. Let's make sure it's democratic and not aligned with Beijing. Thank you, my friends.